Chapter 4, Settings. Adjusting the ICP alert levels. We are now ready to adjust the high and low ICP settings. To do this, press the area on the touchscreen with the high and low ICP values. This will open up the screen to adjust the high and low ICP parameters. Once the screen is open, adjust the high and low ICP values. We are setting these parameters as the control unit will operate between the two selected ICP values. If the ICP rises to exceed the high alarm value, irrigation will stop. And if the ICP falls below the low alarm value, drainage will stop. The purpose of this feature is to ensure the treatment is taking place within the pre-specified parameters. And if it's not, the control unit will adjust treatment to adapt to the clinical situation. Treatment parameters. Once the high and low values are set, press the arrow icon to go back to the home screen. Now we need to tell the control unit how we are going to treat the patient. To do so, press the drain above area on the touch screen to open the treatment screen. First, we need to tell the control unit what ICP value it will drain above. To do this, adjust the drain above number using the arrows. The drain above number can be adjusted between negative 99 and 99. This setting is critically important as it tells the control unit to drain when the patient's ICP is above this number. If the patient's ICP falls below this number, both drainage and irrigation will stop. After this parameter is adjusted, press the irrigation icon. The irrigation bolus can be adjusted from 0 to 0.5 and 1 milliliter. The cycle time can be adjusted to every 20, 36, 40, 45, 60, 90, 120, and 180 seconds. Once these two parameters are adjusted, the hourly irrigation will automatically be calculated for you. The amount of irrigation needing to be delivered can vary given the clinical condition. For instance, to enable the ability to alter CSF composition, the physician may want to irrigate every 20 seconds. Conversely, the clinical situation may dictate that no irrigation is needed, therefore the irrigation volume can be set to zero. Now that we are done telling the control unit the treatment parameters, be sure to confirm that your selected settings are correct. If they are, press the arrow icon to go back to the main screen. Once you are back on the home screen, again confirm that all your parameters are what you wanted prior to starting the treatment. Thank you for watching the Aeroflow System educational training videos. If you have additional questions, please reference the Aeroflow instructions for use, download the Eris Academy app, or contact your Eris sales professional.